it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. If you're new here, it is so nice to meet you. My name is Lauren. Uh, I am currently almost 35 weeks pregnant and my partner David and I are doing Vlogmas for the first time ever. Oh my gosh, this is something that I've always wanted to do and I've just never thought that I could. And I don't know why a pandemic and potential birth of a baby is telling me that I can do this, but we're here and we're doing it and we're on day four. So please make sure that you hit that subscribe button, follow along on this journey and yeah, let's get to today. So it's been kind of a busy morning so far. It is just about 10.30 right now. Uh, David and I woke up early, I had a shower, I started editing Vlogmas day three because that will go up today. Dropped Reese off at my parents because my brother is an angel and is going to take him to Bruce Pitt, which is a dog park, so he can have a big run and a big play. And then um, right now I'm outside of my uh, physiotherapy appointment. I do pelvic floor physio. If you're in Ottawa, I go to Holistic Wellness Physiotherapy in Barhaven, um, and I see Rochelle, and she is a um, pelvic floor physiotherapist. She's wonderful. So like I said, I'm at thir I'm coming up to 35 weeks. Tomorrow's 35 weeks pregnant. And so we've started up like the perineal massage, which is essentially like stretching your perineal muscles in your vagina. It's quite weird. <laughs> it's weird having a stranger doing those things to you, but whatever, apparently it helps with like minimalized tearing. So I'm going in to do that, and then I have some Christmas errands to run while David is at work. Again, David's covering this week on KISS 105.3. He works there on the weekends, but he's covering from 10 till 2 this week, so today's his last day covering. I am going to go into my appointment. I have to pee, so I'm going to do that first, <laughs> but I will catch up with you afterwards. Okay, so I just got out of my pelvic floor physio appointment, and... Oh my gosh, my body is so tight and so sore, but it was great. So she worked on like releasing tension in the muscles, in my muscles, like inside my vagina. Sorry for using that word on here, but here we are. Um, and then we did some perineal stretching and then she uh, massaged my inner thighs to help with my groin pain, as I call it. But she said that everything feels really, really good. And in terms of like my muscles and body being prepped for labor she feels really good about everything and she said nothing is alarming nothing feels too tight too tense which is amazing um so I'm gonna go see her again next week next Friday I booked my appointment <sighs> if you are pregnant seriously look into pelvic floor physio we were talking about it like I don't I feel like it should be something that every every pregnant woman has the option to do like for free <laughs> Um, it is incredible and it has been helping me so much with any of my pain. Um, so I will continue seeing her up until I give birth and then six weeks postpartum we go back. Um, and like they can help with things like incontinence, with pain during sex, just so much. Like look, look into it. Um, if, especially if you're pregnant, I mean, even if you're not pregnant, but yeah, I highly recommend. So I am back in my car now. I'm going to go and do some Christmas errands and then probably head back home and have lunch. It's 11:30 right now. It is raining. It is gross out. It's not a nice day. I wanted to go get Mary Dairy, which is ice cream, but it just doesn't feel like the right day for it. So I don't know. This has been a dreary week, friends, a very dreary, gray, rainy week. Like I miss the sun. Ottawa is supposed to be a sunny city. Come on. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to head to do some errands and I will talk to you after. So I'm home now. I'm just in the baby's room. David and I like to spend lots of time in here. We just get so excited for her to come. But I had mild success, pretty much full success, except for one thing, which I knew wasn't right, but I bought it anyway. Turns out I was right, it wasn't right. But I'm not returning it today. I just don't have time for that. I will return tomorrow. <laughs> I am tired and hungry. Um, so I'm just gonna hang out here till David gets home. Really nothing too exciting going on today. It's such a gross rainy day. So any like Christmassy things that I wanted to do, I feel like I wanna wait for a better day. But I actually wanted to come on here and just 
just quickly chat with you about some pregnancy stuff that I've been going through. Um, again, I want to keep this channel super honest. I want to show the good and the bad. And last night, if if I'm honest, was a, was a bad night. You know, after we decorated the tree, all that was super fun. And then I found I found my first stretch marks. And it's so funny because I've been preparing myself for stretch marks, and I've been fine with it. I think stretch marks are beautiful. They're just a part of pregnancy, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. But I guess I was just in the wrong emotional state. It's like between my breasts, this, there's like a couple lines. And for some reason it just like got to me. And I think in that moment I realized, you know, how different my body is and how different it looks. And I don't know what it's going to look like after she comes. And I just had a moment of, I call it my little pity party. And I was just so sore last night. Like my lower back has been killing me. It's been really sore the past week, week and a half. And then, you know, mixed with my groin pain and the lightning crotch and just my belly pain. I was just like feeling very sorry for myself last night. And uh, so I got in the shower and I just had a little cry in the shower. <laughs> and uh, oh my gosh, when I got out of the shower, I was so sore that I had to ask David to come and dry my legs because I couldn't bend down to dry them. Like that's how much pain I was in. So I pretty much just <laughs> went from the shower to bed. I had another little cry in bed and then I just went to sleep. And I felt a lot better this morning. I felt in a much better mood. I woke up on the right side of the bed. <laughs> but it, uh, last night was rough and you know, I didn't vlog anything because it was late and I'd already loaded up day three. <laughs> onto my computer and you know formatted my memory card and so the the vlog was done but I just wanted to kind of come on here and just talk to you about it and if you're pregnant and you're going through any rough times like I'm here for you I feel you pregnancy is hard this third trimester for me has been very hard I felt very fortunate that you know for the first and second trimester for the most part everything was very smooth. I didn't have crazy morning sickness. I didn't have a ton of pain. I had a little bit of um, prenatal depression in, in the first trimester, but other than that, my pregnancy has been incredible. But this third trimester has been a test. It has been rough. You know, the fatigue is real, The but then you don't sleep because you're constantly peeing or you're sore. And then coupled with this groin pain, which that's one thing that my pelvic floor physiotherapist and I are working on is, is helping that pain. I don't think anything's going to make it go away until she comes, but we're definitely trying to like alleviate that as much as we can. But yeah, I think, I think it's just, we're getting so close to the end and I feel like there's still some unknowns with babe, like what her, what's her position? Is she... Um, I don't think that she's breech, but I don't think that she's fully head down. So I have an ultrasound on the 12th that will confirm her position and see what we think her weight is and everything. But so it, I don't know, whenever th things like that are coming up, you just get a little nervous or anxious for them and I'm just running on emotions and pain, but yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to share that with you, keep it really honest. Again, there's not too, too much happening in this vlog. It's kind of a chill day, but I just thought we could sit down and chat for a minute and I could just kind of update you on everything, but my, my mood is still good. I'm still in positive spirits. Just every now and then it just kind of gets to me. And you know, last night was one of those nights I was, I think it started because I was trying to feed the animals and I couldn't bend down to get Reese's food and it just like just tears in my eyes and I was like babe I need you to feed Reese like I can't bend and it's like David has to like he lifts me out of bed sometimes I get so sore so we're just ready for this little girl to come obviously after 37 weeks but these last few weeks have definitely been they've been trying <laughs> and I've been treating myself with a lot of chocolate which I might be doing after <laughs> But anyway, I am going to get back to working, um, to editing, sorry, Vlogmas Day 3, so I can get that up for you to watch. And 
I'm gonna have some lunch and I will check back in with you when David is home and we get to open our advent calendars. Look who's here. Hey. It's David. Welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an exciting time without you. What have you been doing? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> what are we what are we doing? Oh, we're gonna open up our stupid chocolates. Advent calendar time. Woohoo! Yeah. Day four. Big deal. What are you gonna have? Is it gonna be a Hershey's it's kiss? It's gonna be a Hershey's kiss. No, it's not. This isn't it. The advent calendars are something you're supposed to look forward to. I don't look forward to this. You picked cookies I and cream. I know. You got it's a bar. It's cookies though. and cream. It's a bar. <laughs> Never. What's mine gonna be? No, it's gonna be some cool piece of chocolate. What day is it? It's the fourth. Why can't I? Oh, there it is. <laughs> we got a motorcycle. I got a motorcycle. <laughs> oh, did I supposed to focus no, on your no, face? No, whatever. You get the you get the point. You have to try. I don't want. It. But you do. I'll live with my decision. There's another exciting thing that David came home to. I need some more. A package. It's not to either of us. It's for? Baby C. Wait. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. <laughs> too short. <laughs> and who's it from? This is from Lindsay, who I know from my days on Disney Cruise Line when I used to work there. If you didn't know, that's what David used to do. Now you know. In another life. That's why if you ever wondered, why is his radio name Cruise? Don't tell them. Forget, you, forget you heard that part. <laughs> You're having some issues. I'm gonna open this, by the way. <laughs> It's got a Disney Parks bag, so that makes sense. First of all, thank you, Lindsay, for whatever this is. I don't even know what it is, but I'm excited. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. That's pretty rad, thank That's you. That's so soft. That's really oh, nice. she's gonna love it. Thank you. And a blanket. <gasps> oh! Oh, it's beautiful. And it's a Disney one, too. Is it? It says Disney. There you go. Open it up. Maybe there's a. Oh my gosh, Lindsay, this is so nice. Thank you. She's gonna love it. Just anything soft. Oh, just so cozy for a baby. Oh, it's got Mickey. Oh, let me see. Oh, stop on my face. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> Can I use this till she's born? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you want to show them what you bought? Yeah. David had to pee on his drive home from work. So he stopped at a plant store. First one. <laughs> so pretty. It's even got one growing out the bottom. Oh geez. <laughs> yeah, so that was a good sign to me. I was like, if this, this thing wants to live. It does. Yeah, so that's why I picked that one. And then this is another cactus for us. Get away from my face. Yeah. I find lately, this is the cact, this is what I wanted to replace this, which is dead now. It always dies. So this is called a false Aurelia. And don't take this one as an example, but they're beautiful. Oh my gosh, they're so oh, nice. They're amazing, and I love them. And every time I get one, I kill it within, <laughs> like, I'll own it for like eight weeks, and then it'll be, look at the, the pieces are just, it's just falling, it's dead. If anyway. any of you know how to properly take care of a false Aurelia, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, I think, like, I'm just judging by the pot here, it's still wet. So you overwatered? So I probably overwatered. But this guy will take its place. That looks nice. 
Yeah, I think it looks okay. <laughs> yeah, so now we got plants. Yay! Hi there, can I get a small Smarty Blizzard? Small Smarty, yeah. And uh, maybe a small brownie dough. Sure. That'll be it. Okay, it's 11.30, please. They had peppermint hot cocoa blizzard. Why didn't you get that? Because no one gets that. <laughs> that sounds so good. I don't even think the staff like making it. <laughs> Someone orders it. Can I get a peppermint cocoa blizzard? Ooh. They put gloves on and then they put gloves over the gloves because they don't want to touch them. So look at the cakes. Why do we never get a cake? We don't even have to have a birthday. We don't even have to have them write anything on it. We'll just get a cake. We could do that. We could do that. Maybe for vlogmas. We'll get a Christmas cake. We'll get a Christmas cake, yeah. Okay, I'm holding you to that. We should have a Dairy Queen advent calendar. <laughs> you just <And> inside. <laughs> Inside, it would be ice cream. And I'd keep my advent calendar in the freezer. And every day I'd open it up and I'm like, oh God, it's ice cream cake. <laughs> and then on like the shitty days, you open it up and it's like, peppermint cocoa blizzard. <laughs> yes! Yes! They accidentally gave me a mint peppermint. <laughs> you gotta get over that. All right, we're home now. Gonna finish up this delicious Smarty Blizzard. This might be one of the best Smarty Blizzards I've ever had. It's really good. <laughs> Can you hear nibs? <laughs> She's a good girl. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas Day 4. Thank you so much for watching. Again, remember to thumbs up this video and subscribe. And we will see you tomorrow for... Some more gross cookies and cream garbage. Vlogmas Day 5! Bye! <laughs> this is so Lindsay, nice. Lindsay, I feel like we need to uh, send you something as a thank you. <laughs> I hope you like uh, cookies and cream. No, Lindsay's getting the good stuff. You can have, you can have my dairy milk, Lindsay. Since you went all out for, for our little babe. <laughs>